the baptism of light of the children of Christ. In the new Jerusalem the Spirit is alive. In this humble land of love the only primary good is God. The world does not live the Spirit of Christ, and now as then the world is busy with what is not God and of God. In the new Jerusalem there is the font of the Holy Spirit, where all are invited to immerse themselves in a new baptism of conversion and purification, of Holy Spirit and fire, in order to be reborn from above and to be clothed again with the light of the baby Jesus, who once again descended from heaven, to bring everyone to live the mystery of Christ, way, truth, and life. This is what Jesus promised to Maria Giuseppina Norcia, the humble handmaid of God, the maiden who has known how to enclose in her own pure heart the only love that saves, making of that love, Christ love, the Word made flesh, the living bread descended from heaven, a precious gift to be shared, and con divided, so that it would multiply in many. Humanity cannot understand the mystery of God, because it does not want to understand, losing itself in, so many human reasonings that go beyond the heart and the spirit. Many would like to understand everything with their own human logic, going so far as to deny the evidence which leads them to go against themselves. For others, what counts is to want to be and remain above everyone, and thus enslave once again those who want to understand in the light of the spirit. This humanity has relapsed. It has not been reborn in Christ, but is continually dying. This is why it cannot understand the Christmas of Christ, in essence and substance, and thus it cannot understand the essence of its own Christmas in Christ, baptism, to come to the light in the one who is light, in order to receive the light, which illuminates the world, which enlightens and sets free. Freed alive, while being in the world, but not living the flattery of the world, so as not to lose oneself in it, but to find oneself in that bond of love that keeps us united to the Redeemer and to the Corridemptrix, Mary, she who is mother, queen, and bride. This is the baptism of light of the children of God, to be reborn from above, in the spirit of Christ the light, to take part, to live in communion of heart, soul and spirit with the one who is the way, truth, and life. Great have been those who over time, have wanted to keep alive in their hearts the only teaching of brother Jesus, love your neighbor as yourself. This is the teaching, to be true worshipers of God in spirit and truth, to be peacemakers, and to be called sons of God, in order to be able to forgive and lead a righteous and holy life, without selling off one's primogeniture, one's dignity but keeping alive that holy pride that belongs to the children of God, to those who in baptism become sons in the Son. This is why the children of God are attacked, mocked, distanced, because they have in their hearts and in their being the seal of the living God, who puts others to shame for the conduct of their lives. God's children are called to be upright and truthful, holy and obedient, pure and humble. This is the difference between those who daily strive, with heart and will, to be of Christ, for Christ and with Christ, and those who live the world, its spirit and its enticements. Here are the lamps, placed in the center to illuminate. From this little cradle the burning flame of the Father, illuminates the hearts that arrive here, draw and carry within themselves that spark which leads them through the ways of the world. Few are now the sparks compared to the darkness of the world. But these sparks will bear holy fruit, that will radiate the ways, to drive away the darkness and make the world see, that cross that illuminates the world, that cross of light and fire, which for many will be visible, and will be loved, for others it will be heavy and again crushing. This is what the good and holy, merciful and just Father has promised to those who have chosen to become his children by being baptized in his Son. God the Father Almighty will revive in the heart of every Christian who has remained united to Christ the desire to recognize himself in the unique Christian identity, which in this land of love will never be sold out. And the Father, in his omnipotence, will bring down his arm on those who, 
in his name, crush his children, showing them his justice. In this land, in this second and last grotto of Christianity, salvation is accomplished, awaited, proclaimed, and welcomed by many. In this little cradle, labor of souls, the mercy of the Father, is alive and embraces all those who want to be reborn in the baptism of the Holy Spirit in fire, in Christ, with Christ and for Christ. On this day, united to your fatherly heart, we address our prayer to you, so that it may be accepted and may mark the rebirth, the new baptism of conversion and purification for all those who in your Son believe and want to win all for you, Father, so that the world may see and repent. Give strength to your children. Continue to illuminate them with your light so that they may manifest your holiness. And may this holiness be ever more understood, loved and shared, so that it may be for all the bulwark of your identity.